Hey everyone, welcome to the new Radial Dynamics video series where I'm going to be bringing you informational content about hydraulic steering systems from the fundamentals all the way up to the more technical aspects of system design and operation. For the first episode, I'd like to talk about pressurized steering reservoirs and why that's important. There are a lot of reservoirs on the market. Some of them have vented caps, some of them have pressurized caps. What's the difference? Well, it makes a pretty big impact on the health of your steering system, especially on the lifetime of your pump. But I don't want you to just take my word for it. I want you to see it for yourself. So I'm going to do a simple little demonstration on this pump test stand that we've built. This is a 22 horsepower gas engine that's driving a 15 gallon per minute vein style trophy truck pump. I've got a flow meter that goes from 0 to 32 GPM and a pressure gauge from 0 to 3000 PSI with a flow control valve, a radial dynamics high flow oil filter, and of course the most important part, the radial dynamics pro series vortex reservoir with an 18 PSI pressure cap on it. So once I get the system running, the oil's going to heat up and as it heats up it expands so the fill level inside of the reservoir actually increases and it compresses the air at the top of the reservoir. Now this is going to create pressure inside of the pump feed line. We're going to be able to monitor that pressure or vacuum with this pressure vacuum gauge. We're also going to be able to see exactly what's going on through this full, full view sight glass. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to get this up to temperature, I'm going to build pressure in the reservoir, I'm going to show you what's going on, and then I'm going to take the cap off of the reservoir to show you exactly what the difference is between having a vented reservoir and a pressurized reservoir. So with the system now up to temperature, the pressure inside of the pump feed line is actually up to 15 PSI. The flow rate is 8 gallons per minute right now at idle, and you can see inside of the sight glass that the oil is crystal clear. What I'm going to do is I'm going to increase the speed of the pump. The flow rate is now about 12 gallons per minute, and you can see that the oil is still crystal clear. This is a good sign, this is exactly what we want. So now, in one continuous shot, I'm going to remove the pressure cap off the top of the reservoir to vent the system. I'm going to show you what the difference is. I'm doing this in one shot so that you can see there's nothing else happening in the line. So, the cap is now removed. The pump feed line is actually under slight vacuum. And all of a sudden, this oil is not as clear as it just was. So under a slight vacuum, all of a sudden, we've got a lot more bubbles going into the pump than there just were. When I increase the speed again, we're pulling a little bit more vacuum, and the feed line's getting even worse. just from 15 PSI down to essentially zero PSI, just a couple inches of mercury vacuum on the system. So that was a really simple, quick little test that we were able to do, um, but it was really powerful because think about what we just saw. As soon as I pulled the cap off of this reservoir, all of a sudden this sight glass started to fill up with bubbles. We saw, especially as the pump speed increased, the, uh, the vacuum increased on the line which also caused an increase in the amount of bubbles that we saw. Now that's not just air bubbles. What's happening is the, uh, the oil has dissolved air, it has other components of the oil that start to vaporize because they're at a high enough temperature and a low enough pressure. If you think of a pot of water, if you seal that pot of water and you put a vacuum pump on it, you can actually make water boil at room temperature. Uh, likewise, if you pressurize that same pot of water, it can actually get above the normal boiling point and stay completely liquid because it has to overcome the vapor pressure, which there's all the science stuff that you probably don't care about. So what does it mean for your steering system? Well, if you were listening closely, as soon as I pulled the cap off the reservoir and we started to see lots of bubbles that were in the sight glass, 
this pump actually got quite a bit louder. It started to whine a lot more because what's happening is those bubbles, they go into the pump. As soon as they hit the high pressure side of the pump, they collapse. That causes noise, it generates heat, and worse, it wears away the internal components, the internal materials of the pump. So it's really not good for your steering system. So here's a pro tip for all the racers out there, especially with King of the Hammers coming up right around the corner. If you have a pressurized hydraulic steering system with a radiator cap or some other type of pressure cap on it, if you pull into the pits in the middle of the race and you don't have a specific need to open up your reservoir and take a look inside, don't let your pit crew open up the cap because the whole method of building up pressure inside of here relies on the temperature change of the oil expanding and compressing the air that's still trapped in the reservoir. If you pull into the pits, now your oil's already hot if you open up the cap and then put it back on, you've lost all your pressure, and now your oil's not going to expand anymore, so you're not going to build up the pressure that you had before. So keep that in mind moving forward. So I hope you found this video useful. I hope you found it informative. If you did, be sure to go to our Facebook page at Radial Dynamics. Give us a like, give us a follow. There's going to be a lot more content like this that's coming out. So have a good night. Hope to see you on the trails.